I love these leaves. <gasps> Do you see the squirrel on the stump? <laughs>、oh. Do you think it's possible that we look at our games more than we actually play them? No. Well, maybe. What if, instead of doing a video where we talk about how a game plays, we talk about how games look? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aren't board games gorgeous? Today we are going to count down our top ten board games with great art. Now the only rule that we've given ourselves is it has to be a game that we own for it to be on our list. Otherwise, the list would probably be a lot different. I think. <laughs> And we're not going to be discussing the gameplay or doing any mini reviews of the game itself. This is purely about artwork and components. And kicking us off is going to be Bosk. Now, Bosk is a pretty recent addition to our collection. We got it at the UK Games Expo.、Mm. And this game, you might be thinking, number ten, that seems kind of low. The box art is incredible. Phenomenal.、Mm. We love it. It's so stunning. It's very colourful. The trees are so lovely. It's、mm-hmm. a very evocative piece of art. I, I would say it is actually properly art, not just board game stuff. The little details, like the people hiking, and、mm-hmm. it's lovely. It's really, really good. And if it was just about box art, this game would probably be a lot higher on our list. But the rest of the game, by comparison, it's just different. Is a lot different.、Yeah. I, we think that is gameplay. Sort of a necessity yeah, because the they areas, well-defined areas, didn't they? Yeah,、mm-hmm. and so it's kind of like it looks like a quickly painted-in sections of the board.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's why Bosk isn't all the way up. But I mean, that box art still is still gorgeous, so good, still gorgeous. so good.、Mm-hmm. The next one is Skull. Now we've had this game for so long. It was one of our first、yeah. games that we ever got. And the reason that skull is so great is because the skulls and the flowers. Not only are they just gorgeously done,、mm-hmm. but they each have kind of a different theme going with them. And so whenever we sit down to play it with people, they have so much fun just looking at the different ones and trying to determine. Well, that one's definitely like like a samurai theme or something, and and this one looks like. It's some kind of you know African theme and that you know so they look at them and they just they really dig the different themes. People get really excited about it. They、yeah. do, they do, and they spend a lot of time looking at them. And like each of these like coasters that you work with, coasters, I don't know. Yeah, they, I mean, you, yeah, you flip it and and it's got like a sort of different side on the other side that's kind of shinier, shimmerier, and it's just beautiful, just beautiful. Yeah. And I like it because it takes that you know I'm red player, I'm blue player, I'm green player. It takes that away, and now you can like see this beautiful artwork and pick which one you want to represent you. Yeah, it is really nice, and I always do like people's reactions to、mm-hmm. that game and when they get to pick which one they're gonna be. Yeah. All right. Up next, number eight is the Shipwreck Arcana. So this is a game that I backed on Kickstarter without Lindsay's permission. Forgiveness is easier to ask for, I think sometimes. <laughs> but it was very cheap, and I just made the judgment call because I'd heard really good stuff about it. But that's not the point of this video. <laughs> the art in this game is lovely. It's very it is、nice. so good. It's very、uh, like minimalist style, and it's kind of like tarot cards. I think the the card size is basically a tarot card. Yeah, it's a large、yeah. card size,、mm-hmm. and the artwork is. Just for me, so pleasing to look at. Yeah, it's got this like odd asymmetry on each card. It's all very minimal.、Mm-hmm. The colors all work really well together. It was drawn by a guy that does the artwork for the fan-made expansion to Sentinels of the Multiverse. Oh, the Cauldron, really? Which I really like as well. So,、oh. yeah, this is just I think a step above that. It just looks really good, and it's something that I think people when they look at it they go, oh. This、yeah. looks really nice. All of our friends we played it with have all looked through the cards because、uh-huh. they just want to see the artwork. The little tokens you get with it, little wooden pieces with a nice design on them with the numbers inside. Everything's just, I think, really just nice. It's very simple but very effective. Yeah, inside and out, it's really、yeah. nice. Yeah, and our next one is Spirits of the Forest. This game again, I I just dig colors, man. <laughs> you know how to get me. It has so many different colors, and I love the box art on the front, like the way that they've drawn that spirit in the forest. Yeah. And then each spirit that they've created and designed is is different and distinct and beautiful, and the colors go so well with it. And everything is just so gorgeous. It really is. <laughs> It, yeah. Every card and even like these little components. I, I've never even used it. It's like the size of a bookmark. It's I don't. What what does that part of the, the game? That's the solo、do? game. But every bit is like 
really nicely done as mm -hmm. part of the game. I think that's uh, Thundergriff games. They always do like really high end, like very good, well produced games. Yeah. And so yeah, this is no exception. It is stunning when I mean, you have all that forest laid out on the table. Yeah, the way it's it looks. So pretty. Really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So up next is Inish. Now Inish is, I mean, is it a Gaelic art style and like Gaelic? Uh, iconography would you that say that's to me, like, the closest to it like i think celtic or something or yeah um celtic? celtic yeah this game is so i think divisive but we love it like it's a game that i think some people are like eh, i don't really like it yeah, yeah. but we uh, think it looks incredible I, I love the box art i think it's so again it's like quite vibrant a lot of contrast really really nice and all mm -hmm. the cards follow that same it's the same right throughout the whole product mm -hmm. you know it's not like bosk where the board and everything is a much more toned down version of the box art. This one, all the cards, all yeah. the pieces, everything. It's just really, really nice. The, the attention to detail, I think. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, and the miniatures, I think, as well. Yeah. They, they are very solid. Like, they feel good. It's not like Spirits of the, uh, Spirit Island, rather, mm -hmm. where the little men feel very soft, yeah. plasticky, very flimsy. Yeah. In this, it's like, no, these are like they are good they have good components i like it when you're like putting the different regions out and the regions are just so beautiful yeah so beautiful like the the swamp versus the valley versus you know like they're yeah all it's just so kind of like a pretty. really stylized photograph yeah almost on them yeah so really really breathtaking next is photosynthesis now this appears on a lot of people's lists like so, just yeah. for the box art alone just that that tree in the middle of the forest and the sun coming down it's just beautiful you just imagine that you you just want to be there mm -hmm. you want to be in there with that nature and then you get everything out of the box and again it's just beautiful you know all all the different colors of the trees yeah and the components and building the trees it, and and the way that the sun moves around, it's it's so pretty. It's lovely, lovely game. It's super pleasant, mm -hmm. I think, when you look at it. And I remember when we first were seeing the pictures of what the box art was going to be for photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. We didn't know anything about the game, and both of us were like, "We should get that game. It yeah. just looks oh yeah so appealing." If you were a shop owner and you put that oh yeah in the front of your store, it would bring people in. Absolutely, yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. All right, up next is root now this game is so visually interesting because it looks yeah. like a children's like a really <laughs> well illustrated children's book or yeah novel. like a storybook yeah obviously the gameplay is not that at all it's very misleading <laughs> but i think that adds to it as well because it sort of is showing stuff can be a lot different than it mm -hmm. appears like it'll be mm -hmm. and again it has a very cohesive art style every aspect all the cards the board the player boards and the player aids and the even the rule book, everything follows that same art style that you see on the box. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing something and thinking that looks amazing and then opening it and it's super dry and bland mm -hmm. and nothing's going on. It's just wonderful. The little characters are so cute and cuddly looking, but then obviously very deadly. <laughs> it's just, I love it. I think it's such an incredible, well-produced game. Even the individual faction miniatures, yeah. the little tokens. The quality. Yeah, it's, it's very, very high. so good. Yeah, and the, the colors of them very br vibrant. Like the um, cats are all like a really nice vibrant yeah. orange. The birds are a lovely blue color. The Woodland Alliance are that really nice sort of green color. I'm glad you mentioned the colors because it's it's kind of a unique combination of colors that yeah. they use too. It's not like your standard primaries. It's they've really taken the time to pick what they wanted to use. Yeah, I think it works super well. Yeah, really it's cool. great. Really good. Love root. Uh, next is Sagrada. <laughs> Speaking of colors, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're back to <laughs> me again. I I love the colors of this. I mean, of course, it's 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 after that beautiful church, and mm -hmm. um, I love how when I mean you look at the box and it's gorgeous. All those stained glass colors that are just so vivid. But then when you open the box. The inside, it just brings you into that game. Yeah. And I love how each of the player boards that you work with are those arches. And then if you actually line them up, the colors from each window, they, they like go into Flows, each yeah. other. It, it all makes it as one. And even the way that you um, score the points at the end, like even those are beautiful colors. 
So it's nice that they took the time to take that box and just bring it in and keep that going throughout the game. Yeah. It's so pretty. When you take a picture of this, like, people, friends of mine, I put it on Facebook, and friends of mine who don't give a crap about games <laughs> were liking it and asking about it, and it's just because it's so pretty. Yeah, definitely is. Mm -hmm. And the dice as well. Oh, yeah. All those different colors oh, yeah. really add to it. When you have a finished game mm -hmm. it looks so stunning to have on the table yeah yeah, yeah. that's super high up there for us mm -hmm. all right number two is evolution climate now this one might be uh, my favorite actual box art i think it's just so beautiful yeah. again so colorful so evocative really draws you in and makes you want to know what's going on inside the box mm -hmm. and then when you get in there again everything is cohesive all the cards have that same almost watercolor yeah, sort of look yeah. to them in evolution you have that really big board to track not only the food and the watering hole mechanic they've got but also the card stuff at the top to like the temperature and the, the climate mm -hmm. so when you unfold all of that again it follows that same look and feel and it's the warm weather stuff feels really warm mm -hmm. and lovely and like relaxing and then you have the cold weather stuff and it feels chilly and it yeah. feels like it really does work so well that it feels cold and it feels like a little bit more trickier yeah yeah it's just lovely it's absolutely beautiful stuff i think anyway with uh, like animal type artwork mm -hmm. if you do it well it's always going to look really really good yeah you yeah know? like the classic old um you know guides to animals like bird watchers guides and stuff and they have the illustrated birds and they all look yeah. beautiful it's like that. It's like that. Yeah. 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 Before we filled up our our calyx, we did like display that one because yeah. it was just so pretty. So yeah. nice. We wanted people to see it when they came in. Mm -hmm. Right. Before we get to number 1, we do have a couple of honorable mentions. Would you like to run through those ones? Yeah. So, Suro, the particularly the water one, the Suro of the Seas. Suro of the Seas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that one. Just that wave on the front. And then when you open the box and you've got like this thin it's like a parchment like, rice paper, paper or something. Yeah. And then you take that and then you have the most unique way of like folding the rules up it's like, like a that. booklet that's <laughs> folded in on itself. And yeah. then when you finally get inside and you open up like the board that you play on, even that is really well done, really pretty. Yeah, I like the dragon. Yeah. That really yeah. cool dragon on, on the uh, the board. Just didn't make the list. No. And <laughs> Another one is Santorini. Again, I think Santorini is one that just all works together really, really well. And it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot really in the game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a lot of components to build the buildings, but the cards are the only thing that really exists in there. Mm -hmm. And the little miniatures. And the miniatures are really nice as well. They're yeah. well made. But I mean, mm -hmm. they're the main part of the game, so it sort of has to. But the cards, especially, the artwork is so good on all of them. It's kind of like a cartoon. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the style of it is, but it's like all these gods mm -hmm. that have much bigger heads than they have bodies. Yeah. Like those pops, I think they're called, you know, the toys. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. And it's just, it looks great and it all works really well. It's really and inviting, isn't it? It is very yeah. inviting. And it makes, again, it kind of is misleading because it makes the game look <laughs> friendlier than it actually winds up being. It's much more cutthroat, you know, aggressive back and forth sort yeah. of game. And it makes it look like, oh, it's just a fun time. <laughs> and it is, but it also cannot be. So, <laughs> it yeah. can be brutal. <laughs> so there was just a couple of honorable mentions. Our number one. Number one is Scythe. Oh my gosh. This game, like, from top to bottom, beautiful. Beautiful. And you wouldn't think that of the theme, like this you know, machiney mechs and stuff. Like, you wouldn't yeah. imagine that that's going to be super beautiful. But the way that they blended that with, like, this sort of rural farm life, sort of villagey thing, it's great. And the art is lovely. And the components now, okay, we sort of cheated. We have um, the... The upgraded coins. The upgraded coins. But just for that, like, teal, turquoise, greeny, bluey coin with the square... Just for that alone, holy cow. Like, that is a great coin. And I love the clinks. And and the mechs are great. And the board is wonderful. And again, here we are with, like, just slightly different colors. It's not bright yellow. It's more of, like, a mustard yellow. And yeah. It's, I just love it. Love it. 
I love the look of Scythe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those miniatures are so well made. All the mechs are unique to each faction. Mm -hmm. All the like bosses that you have, your, your leaders, mm -hmm. again, all unique, all with an animal with them that looks really cool. <sighs> they look so good. And then all the meeples. So if I'm the red team, my meeples are all red, which makes sense, but they all look different. They have a different hat. Other people's. Yeah, everyone's got like a different hat or a slightly different stance. Yeah. And so not only can you easily tell who is who based on the color, but they just went that extra step and mm -hmm. also made them unique people, you know, unique meeples. Mm -hmm. It's just cool. All the components, you've got actual little, like the little pieces of wood look like pieces of wood. Yeah. And, you know, the, the food looks like food. And it's just a really, really cool production. Yeah. Again, that's something that you... I think now come to expect from Stonemaier games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing bad to say about so the way beautiful. it looks. So and yeah, we did cheat a little bit. We've got the metal coins and we have the extended board. So when you flip the board over, it actually has it so that it's scaled up uh -huh. to, I think, 50% bigger. And you can buy a bonus board piece that you slot onto the end. And so you get a much bigger board, yeah. which not only l looks great, but it fits everything a little bit better. You can kind of overpopulate and it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> it's just cool. It's just really cool. Oh, even the boards. We didn't even talk about the player boards. The player boards take that art and again bring it right in. And, bring it right and in. Like all, if there's space for everything. Everything's in set so you can place all your different artifacts <gasps> and your different people so into the specific places. It is a very satisfying game. Yeah. Everything about it is visually satisfying and then it ties into the actual way you play the game mm -hmm. and it makes the, playing the game and teaching the game easier yeah just because of those things which i think really is what for us made it the number one because yeah. it while the other ones also look fantastic this one looks fantastic and it also helps with the gameplay experience mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. so so that's it <laughs> those are our 10 games plus two honorable mentions do you have any great artwork board games that you think we should know about let us know down below or games with the worst art you've ever seen oh that would be interesting yeah because yeah. everyone loves looking at those <laughs> anyway thank you very much we'll see, see you later. next week bye top 10 what we <laughs> god why did i say that so thank you very much for watching this video be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications so you don't miss any other videos from us in the future now surprisingly of all the games that we've actually discussed today we've only reviewed one of them and that was spirits of the forest so be sure to check that one out we love doing these top 10 lists so if you want to see another top 10 list that we've done you can always check out the top 10 games of 2018 uh so click one of these <laughs> <laughs> see you later <laughs>